Good day class. Today I am going to show you how to draw a shear force diagram and bending moment diagram okay, for a beam. Okay, so we have a simply supported beam, okay, point A and point B, okay, with the span of 7 meter. Okay, and on this beam it has three load. Okay, the first load will be P1, okay, point load one, which is 40 kilo newton, and we have point load two, 10 kilo newton, and we have an uniform load U1, okay, with the value of 5 kilo newton per meter. Okay, the position of the load is as displayed in the diagram. Okay. So by following the equilibrium uh, formula, we know that okay, sigma ma equals to zero. Okay, so we'll go into okay calculating all the moment okay that will act on point A. The first moment will be coming from point one. P1, okay, which is 40 kilo newton times 3 meter. Okay, so this is because you have to calculate from the load, okay, times the distance from point A because you are using point A as our point of reference. Okay, the next thing will be P2. Okay, 10 kilo newton times the distance from point A, which is 5 meter. Okay, last, okay, this time we have to convert the uniform load U1, okay, into a point load acting at the middle of the span of that particular uniform load. Okay, so how do we go about this is that okay, 5 kilo newton per meter times 3 meter. Okay, this is to get the total load okay, coming from the uniform load 1, U1. Okay, then we have times the distance, the new distance which is 3 meter divide by 2. As you can see, the newly converted uniform load will be acting at the middle of the span. Okay, That's why you have to times 3 meter divide by 2. Okay, And the last one will be the reaction force, Rb. Okay, So we know that to counter all the load, we'll have Ra and RB, okay, so RB will be a anti-clockwise force, okay, therefore it is a negative force, okay, again we have to times with 7 meter, which is the distance from point A, okay, again formula, following the formula, okay, the whole equation, okay, will equal to 0. Okay, so we rearrange the equation okay, in a way that okay, 7RB equals to okay, 40 times 3, which is 120 kilo newton meter plus 10 times 5 meter, okay, which is 50 kilo newton meter. Plus, okay, if you sum up all this, it will equal to 22.5 kilo newton meter. Okay, remember that, okay, you should always write down your dimension, okay, so that you will not confuse. Okay, later, okay, you will try to get RB by factoring with the number 7, okay, Therefore, you get RB as 
27.5 kilo newton okay so now we have our rb okay since we know that okay based on um, the equilibrium theory okay we know that whatever load that is acting on the beam will be counteracted by the reaction force from support a and b therefore the total load okay the total imposed load on this particular beam okay is equals to the reaction force a plus reaction force b okay therefore we know that total load equals to r a plus r b okay from this formula okay we can find r a okay by using the total load okay to deduct r b okay therefore we have r a equals to first load 40 kilo newton 40 kilo newton plus 10 kilo newton okay plus 5 kilo newton per meter times 3 meter okay and then we have to minus rb which is 27.5 kilo newton okay so if you solve this calculation okay what we'll get is 37.5 kilo newton okay so this is our ra okay so once we have ra and rb we can start to work on our shear force diagram okay by using a graphical method okay we can draw the shear force diagram okay on support a okay with value of 37.5 kilo newton okay so try to draw okay and then we'll put the value 37.5 kilo newton okay at here okay so what happened here is that we have a uniform load of 5 kilo newton per meter okay what this uniform load will do okay to the shear force is that okay it will create okay a force of 5 times 3 meter okay so we have a force of 15 kilo newton okay therefore the value 37.5 kilo newton will be deduct with the number 20 oh sorry 15 kilo newton okay and the value we'll get will be okay 22.5 kilo newton okay so what happened here is that okay now we have a point load one okay p1 equals to 40 kilo newton what p1 do to the shear force diagram is that okay we'll have to use 22.5 kilo newton to deduct 40 kilo newton and the value that we'll have will be okay negative 75 sorry 17.5 kilo newton okay and when we look at this band okay there's no force okay on this two meter span okay therefore the shear force will stay the same okay so how we go about this is that we draw one straight line okay until we reach the third point okay at this point okay we have point two a 10 kilo newton acting here okay Therefore, we'll have to deduct 10 kilo newton, okay, out of negative 17.5 kilo newton, okay. So what we'll get here is, 
negative 27.5 kilo newton and again there's no more loads acting on the last band okay therefore the shear force diagram stays the same and it is still 27.5 kilo newton okay at this point we can double check whether our shear force diagram is correct or not by checking the last value with our RB okay if you find that the last value negative 27.5 okay is the same as 27.5 that means the whole shear force diagram will go back to zero okay if you can complete this that means your shear force diagram is correct the next step okay is to do the bending moment diagram okay as we know that okay the value of the bending moment basically is the same as the area okay in our shear force diagram okay so let us try to calculate the area for this zone okay which is 37.5 plus 22.5 divide by 2 then times the span 3 okay the answer we'll get will be 90 kilo newton meter okay 90 kilo newton meter and by looking at this diagram if the line here is a linear line okay in the bending moment diagram we'll draw a curved line let us go to the next section in our shear force diagram okay we calculate this area okay which is 17.5 kilo newton times 2 meter okay so what we'll have here is that the total area deduct the new area will get a value of 55 kilo newton meter Okay. and you see that since it is, it is a straight line in the shear force diagram okay therefore we'll draw a linear line in our bending moment diagram okay so that we draw a linear line okay so to complete the bending moment diagram okay we should calculate the last section okay which is 27.5 kilo newton times 2 meter the answer we'll get will be 55 kilo newton meter okay following the equilibrium theory okay we'll draw a linear line goes back to point zero if you can draw this that means your bending moment diagram is completed. Okay, thank you for your attention.